Welcome back, ladies and gents. We are live now. We have LDLC NIP coming up on Inferno, and this is a really, 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 really important match. Hello. Hi, James. I just like to say. They didn't that. introduce you. you just no, you just uh, let yeah. me sit here. How are you doing? You just came back from work? Yeah, my last day at my now old job. So I'm free. You excited? Full time esports. What are you going to do? Esports. Esports. Well, I mean, like, what are you going to do? Well, I guess just esports. I'm going to go to Amsterdam tomorrow. Oh yeah, you're going to Amsterdam. It's like what red red night red 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 fight, fight district. Red fight Let's get district. it right because oh my god, red fight district is a fighting game event this weekend, which I'm broadcasting on my channel. So uh, I'll be back here on Monday. But uh, anyway, back to the Counter Strike. We have LDLC versus NIP, and of course, this is actually LDLC's map. And oh, we've got some we've got some mad statistics for you, thanks to production right now. Um, LDLC have beaten NIP five times out of five in their last five meetings. Two of these have been on um, Inferno, and this is their pick today as well. If LDLC, <coughs> if they win, win this map, then don't laugh at me when yeah. I'm coughing, damn it. If they win this map, then they go through to Milan. They go to Milan, that's it. They look have to win this look map. Look at these odds, though, like how different this is on depending on whether it's skins or real cash. It's, it's just, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like almost exact opposites. It is. It is. It's really weird. I don't know if I've actually seen it be like that, considering how heavily, like how heavy the disparity <coughs> is. Yeah, this is the first time I've seen anything like that before. Yeah. So, well, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just curious. I mean, LDLC they had a cracking uh, performance, uh, well, series of performances yesterday, and LDLC, if they win this, I'm pretty sure that they are guaranteed through. They're guaranteed if they win this. Yeah. Um, I think NIP are in trouble. So we'll have to see how this actually turns out, and. Uh, We'll also get the rankings up as soon as we can. Uh, it has to be updated and everything. Yeah, and there's so there's so many <laughs> changes between each match. There's so many field updates, so that'll be coming. And and while we're here, guys, while we're here, <coughs> we're gonna go into the knife round shortly. But on the subject of knives, you know, I'm like Mr. Knife Guy these days. We are gonna nice. be doing the subscriber knife giveaway later. And um, quick note to Intensity Studio: if you do not reply to our message about your knife by the end of this match, then we're gonna re-raffle that one as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, why aren't people claiming the knives? <laughs> it's it's a, I, every time a non subscriber wins a knife, they just don't reply to people private messages. It's crazy. So, yeah, check your other tab and uh, you will find a message from us there if you don't reply by the time somebody hits 16. That's a wrap. Alright, well, there's an ultimatum from James there. Alright, so we're in to the match now. And we are going to have an LDLC starting an LDLC? An LDLC. An LDLC, one of the many LDLCs. I don't know. We're going to have LDLC starting off on the terrace side. And Nip have got like Assassin's Creed style logos now. Don't you think? Are you familiar with Assassin's Creed? Yeah. but Would you agree? No. Maybe? Well, I'm not that familiar. Let's see I only what play, the chat I only played play the first two, two games. Okay, chat, tell me if you think. <laughs> <coughs> oh, it's going to be a long game. <laughs> so, tell me if you think a Nip's logo in game looks like something out of Assassin's Creed, because I think it does. We need to make we need our mods to like make straw polls when we have like dis like disagreements like this, so that we can ha we can know you know who gets more support from the community. We still need a, need a, a straw poll. W what was it um, Shirley Bassey versus Command and Conquer? Yeah, <laughs> that that needs to happen at some point. But anyway, we're going to have Nip on the CT side here after winning that um, knife round. Last time they won the knife that we saw on Inferno, they chose um, they chose the T side on Inferno, which was an interesting strat. One I'd like to actually ask them at some point why they did that, but uh, Flan's going to spot someone in the apps and just go back. It's important to stay alive here on the CT side. I don't know where the bomb's going to go just yet. All right, so we have Fifth Laren in a nice position on the balcony there. Happy try and challenge might find himself at the mercy of Fifth Laren soon, but he does hold his position as we see LDLC f slowly, slowly making their way towards CT Arch. Might get some peaks in here, but Exist is ready for the angle. And Exist is going to have to. Oh, nice pop flash. Great pop flash. Love that. And they're going to go through CT Arch straight away for the B split. And this is going to be really hard, especially if they leave a man behind to delay the, the CTs from A. Look, only just. They, they still haven't started rotating towards the B-bomb site. Get right's going to do so much by himself. Only gets one with the Julies. And in comes MBK and CT spawn. They, they can't even get through. Bomb is down. 
It's a three on two. They don't have a kit. And LDLC have some nice positions. Two towards Banana and one in construction. Yeah, we've got a crossfire coming in here for LDLC. Not going to go out. Should pay off quite well. Shopsy's going to get both kills there with assists from NVK and Happy. And great work. You see NVK, he likes a P250 in the pistol round. That's going to be because of the recoil. It uh, allows you to fire considerably fast and still um, hit the headshot on each shot. Okay, so just a small investment. Five smokes and an HE. We always see uh, NIP do this. I think they're the only team that actually does this. Uh, you know, invest in, in loads of smokes on, on the, if they lose the pistol round uh, on the CT side of Inferno. So I have to see how these come into play for them and get right to the one with the HE. And he is usually towards this uh, B site recently. And there he is there with uh, Freiburg. I think the purpose of these smokes are... Well, I'll come back to it later. Ooh, the nice. Come in. He's been damaged by the grenade and... Freiburg able to pick up three frags there with that pistol and things going very well for an IP. Beautiful stuff now. They're going to smoke off that bomb. And a Freiburg, can he find himself a weapon? He's actually received no damage despite making the three kill. And I don't even know if they're even flashed, but here we go. Smith's going to make his way in. Another smoke coming in from NIP. Beautifully done so far. And they finish it off there. There is Freiburg with the four kill. And that's going to be the weapon picked up as well. He, he earned that weapon. Freiburg earned that Gilil. And uh, happy. Not so happy now. But Laren going to take him out. And oh my god, that was destruction. Only one of them died there. Massive round for Freiburg. And I was going to say, <coughs> I think the um, idea from NIP there was to burn down the clock as much as possible to the point where LDLC had no choice but to try and rush the site and then use that to their advantage and get some frags in the mayhem. But they got some frags in the mayhem anyway about the smokes. Um, down straight away and a huge round for Freiburg there. Amazing that Nip only had one player die there. None of them had armor versus the uh, rifle buy from LDLC. And it's not so often that you see the CT side with, on the third round with three AKs and a Galil. That's actually really strong. And if they keep these AKs alive, LDLC are going to be in for some trouble. They're going to go in though through middle, see if they can do some damage and in come the grenades. And wow, nice opening there from LDLC. They do actually manage to take down two players, Pip Lauren and Exist going down. That is some weapons picked up for LDLC. It's uh, Forrest though, the man in the pit, but he's going to get eliminated by Smith as well. Great. Great entry from him, and LDLC looking to take this back. It's a, an absolute slugfest, the early stages of this match. Good smoke getting thrown towards Pit there, and get right, trying to find something with the Gilil. Looks like he does uh, get a couple bullets connected. All the players of LDLC collectively have less than 40 health, and Kyoshima are going to come in from the side. There, look at the health, eight shocks, eight smiths, 15 Kyoshima. That is absolutely gutting for NIP, but look at the economy for both teams. NIP, NIP should probably just buy in this round and just get themselves, uh, just keep the pressure up. Keep the pressure up. Don't let LDLC run away with this. And they're going to go for that as well. Three rounds in, and we have had absolute carnage here from both teams winning uh, some crazy rounds so far. Got to have uh, get right with the Mag 7, but he's not going to find any action yet. So we are seeing aggressive plays here from LDLC going towards the A bomb site. But they might just be teasing the CTs, trying to get them to overextend. Trying to get some early frags. No picks to be made yet. Got Fiflaren in the boost spot. So we'll see how many players he can surprise. Yeah, we see uh, Fiflaren using this spot quite often. As I saw a cursory glance there to the Fiflaren jar from James. But uh, <laughs> still empty, I might add. For now. It's a matter of time, DDK. <laughs> All right, well, NIP just holding very steadily at the moment. This round can go either way for certain. Get right ready for the re-smoke on Banana. LDLC yet to find themselves an opening to exploit. They might try to force something there. They do have some players moving up middle. Fifth Lauren going to catch Happy and fall back. Very nice play there. And NIP find themselves with a small advantage. MBK on the, on the MAC-10. And we're going to go in with a smoke here from Smith onto CT spawn. That's going to force a rotate to construction. Get the entry onto Get Right. There is still Freiburg there. He's going to get smoked off at Coils. Very well played by LDLC. This will allow them to get the bomb planted. But NIP is going to be quick on this retake. Very smart stuff from LDLC. But NIP now moving through construction. Seems to be moving through Paul as well. Freiburg getting a peek over. Does spot a couple players there. Putting a lot of damage into Smith. 
Only 11 health left on him, but it's a 2 on 3 in favor of LDLC. The French side able to make even more picks coming into this. Exist now alone in construction. At this point, he's just got to deal damage. But Shock's going to just lop his head off with the AK. And we do have another round for LDLC. Now, we're expecting to see a full eco here from NIP. I don't think we're going to see much of anything purchased for Flaren with a little bit more than his teammates, but they're all pretty much on the same amount of money here. So, uh, indeed, just the bog standard USPs and P2000s here for the whole team. Yeah, it's see what kind of strat there we're going to run. So I'm putting four towards the A bomb site and uh, only Freiburg on B. They're expecting B to be played slowly, so they will go for uh, the numbers game towards mid. Yeah, so it's unfortunate they didn't get more damage uh, for NIP on that last, that previous round. If, they, if they'd gotten like four kills or something, then it kind of would have worked out, you know, it would have been okay to lose that round, but really they didn't find any damage. And then now they're in this position where this, is, this round should go cleanly to LDLC unless something crazy happens. And LDLC will start to really take a lead on the money and and this this could start getting out of, out of control. So it's, it's starting to be really risky now. You see the picks coming in from LDLC. And a happy gonna gun down if Lauren as he retreats. So, indeed, a uh, well, almost a clean round. Freiburg's gonna take down one player, and he could just hide with this AK, try to keep it alive. And if they try to step to him, he can try to get the damage. But we'll see what happens here now. Freiburg. I'd be surprised if he can survive with this gun. They have so much time to hunt him, they roughly know where he is, and he's got no armor. Gets the first frag, gets some damage in there. It's gonna cost the T's. A little bit of money, well, <coughs> about 3,700. And that won't cost him much because he didn't have anything to begin with. But like, get right, it's going to be on the FAMAS, so if he could have saved that, they may, that may have ha made a difference there. But uh, his chances of saving that were somewhere between slim and none. So, reasonable trade there for the CTs. And uh, let's see, LDLC. These guys are so aggressive. Alright, so. It is passive to begin with, as is the start of Inferno almost always. Smith, this is a little bit of crazy from Smith right now. A little bit of crazy with that AWP in apartments. Let's see if he's able to pick something off. Although, you know, we can see that MIP playing very far back at the moment. So Smith, uh, he will have actually a good angle going into the A site from, from apartments. And usually if there's a guy pushed this far up apartments, it's very indicative of a, an A play, so we'll have to see how NIP reacts. <coughs> I think he might have been spotted there. We've got some bullets coming in from Forest. And if Farron is going to go down through mid, that might speed up LDLC here. We've got Exist coming back towards the site. Going to try and get a crossfire going with his teammate here, but he's going to have to uh, give up quad, sorry, arch. We have got a push coming in from Nip. They're trying to react to this really fast, but if the T's decide to go through to CC spawn, then we could have some mayhem ensuing. Now. The smoke's carpeting the site. And DLC making their way in with some good frags. And then IP in a lot of trouble at the moment. It's gonna be a very quick round there for LDLC. Good execution into the B into the A bomb site. And NIP once again in a very precarious position on the money. They kind of have to well they have to go for the eco. Might be able to get a little bit of uh, grenades and uh, pistols on some of the players, but <coughs> generally speaking LDLC are starting to really get a great lead. The way LDLC are playing some of these rounds on an eco, it may be worth NIP just throwing two nades straight down mid, see if they can get anything out of this. But uh, on this occasion, they're going to play with the P250s in the smokes. And again, LDLC have beaten Nip five out of the last five times, twice being on Inferno, which is generally regarded as uh, one of Nip's stronger maps from the current active duty pool. So. This is not going to be easy. Again, we've already a 5-1 deficit on the more favoured side here. No economy to speak of. There's not many frags on the board. It's just going to be <coughs> a long journey back into contention here for NIP. I see the challenge between Kiyoshima and Get Right, but Get Right's not peaking just yet. Get Right, probably the most patient player in Counter Strike. I would, uh, I would wager. You can see LDLC making their way in now, and the rotation does come in from get right. But it is just the pistols, and there's not all too much to be done here. Ooh, it does take one kill down, but again, it's uh, the damage is almost negligible at this point. 
as it's just one player and the money is still building and LDLC aren't suffer suffering all that many losses in the recent rounds. So we can see that that doesn't really have an impact on the on the money there for LDLC and NIP. They got to get the rounds on the board now. They really got to got to start something right here because again, if they lose this, Eco again, and that's like eight rounds. Who's got AWP for Nip? It's Fifth Lauren. <laughs> hey. And there we go, he might just find some love with this. He had a good spawn for that B pick, and he does make it work. Beautiful stuff there. He might even... It's, I wonder if he's actually going to stay around here. He could actually even rotate. Um, but he's going to go for the re-peak. There it is, that's fine, the shot onto MBK. Fifth Lauren going to get challenged again. Does get himself out of there. And we might see Exist floating over to help the B side. But LDLC is sprinting back towards middle now. Yeah, we had a nice um, fla counter flash there from the teammate of Fifth Laren, which was Freiburg, to keep him into safety here. So good support for the AWP. And <coughs> again, <coughs> happy to peeking there. And that will uh, that flashbang will just confirm the position behind. And he will go for the nade, but doesn't go his way. And Get Right's going to take up two. Shoxi going down as well. It's going to be Kiyoshima remaining. He does have the bomb, <laughs> however, so if he gets two fast picks on B, then he could still do this. Yeah, Kiyoshima's coming in. <coughs> He's trying to make his way back there. And it's quite fun to see, you know, uh, Fifth Lauren playing Get Right's position and Get Right playing Fifth Lauren's position on the CT side. Uh, both players performing amazingly in this round, both picking up two frags. I imagine it was very much just about the spawn for Fifth Lauren. We didn't see the spawns exactly, but I imagine if we went back, it would be a decision based on those spawns and uh, very well played by Fifth Lauren. And once again, you know, something we did stress earlier was that if we look at the scoreboard right now, the momentum is undeniably massive for LDLC. This is the first round where NIP were able to actually put in a significant effort to damage that momentum and get themselves back in the game. Absolutely. And Kishima does save an AWP for Smith, so that's going to be really important. <coughs> we'll go. See, looks like Fifth Laren is going to rotate the AWP towards A, but it's it was quite a good point you made uh, on B where he could rotate, but he didn't choose to because normally, like if you see if you see Kenny S get a pick on B, he'll run straight back to A, and Fifth Laren kind of faked the same thing. They went for the re peek, and uh, that was very helpful in winning them the round. It's very nip esque, I think. But we're going to see actually an aggression down middle. Flashes the fire coming down. Freiburg getting in the midst of all the trouble there. As uh, we do see the the boost over the smoke from the plant pot, but Freiburg is. He knows, he knows all the little tricks down Banana. He is the king of Banana as NIP playing that aggressive, aggressive B style. They've got three players there at the early beginnings of the round. Only uh, one person traded on either team. And and uh, looks like LDLC are now kind of stuck in the mud a little bit, unsure uh, which way to, to really go. They have to wait for this Banana smoke to go away. They, ca they do actually have time to do that if they would want to double back there. Happy is so hungry for these uh, for these uh, these frags. Just so uh, LDLC looking the wrong way, and two of them are going to fall here. It's only going to be Happy and uh, Shoxy remaining. And uh, Exist coming in now from Forest, usual position over at the pit, going to get eliminated immediately. We do have Fifth Lauren coming in with the AWP from library side. Freiburg up from middle. They find their respective one-on-ones at this point. And Freiburg, he's got to be quick. He's got to support Fifth Lauren as we do see the rotation coming in uh, from, from Happy into that pit area. So Freiburg in with the Molotov. Fifth Lauren with a great pick on the shocks. It's down to Fifth Lauren now. Picks up the AK-47. He's really healthy. He's got plenty of time. Happy going for the juice, going for the jives around that blue truck. And Fifth Lauren in with the grenades. Got to get the frag quickly now. Oh, the jump shot from Fifth Lauren. Phenomenal stuff there. I don't believe my eyes. He's going to get the defuse. And Fifth Lauren with a fantastic triple kill. He is he is crushing right now for NIP. Fifth Lauren is top fragging for Nip right now. Bringing him back into this game with crucial plays in two rounds that they've won out of the three in total that they have on the board. LDLC still three rounds ahead. They've got six rounds on the T side. Even if they won every, even if they lost, sorry, every other round on this side, they'd still be in good stead for the CT side with six on the board. However, they're going to be looking to win a lot more than six, and they still have the full buy coming out. Let's look at the economy for both teams here. LDLC still going to be good for the money if they lose this round. The NIP have almost nothing in the bank. 
Okay, now we see Fifflarin rotating, and then he might switch positions with Exist. And Exist used to play a lot of Banana 4 and, and CT Arch 4 and IT, so it's a very comfortable switch, I think. Um, but it is just, uh, they aren't going to switch. They do have Fr a Freiberg quite far pushed up, so they don't need to have two players on Banana. Because if he spots someone, if he spots Banana Aggression, they can easily rotate in time uh, from, the, from you know, one or two players from Arch side. So NIP with a fantastic setup. They're looking great in this round. It's just going to come down to the shots for LDLC. In they go. With Exist and Fifflerin on the same angle. And it's going to be two frags for Exist. Fifflerin going down without any damage, but that's okay. We do still have some good positions for NIP. LDLC, though, they are hungry for these kills. MBK going to go down. That bomb is dropped. Happy and Kyoshima have to come out huge here. It's not quite happening for them. Great double kill from Forrest there in the end to, uh, to secure the round. And... Really nice round from NIP. I think that was really well played positionally. Yeah, that was great teamwork. Had two people on either side, and uh, two of their team got two frags each as well. So they really shut down the push there from LDLC, and they are getting back into this game. Now we have one more buy from LDLC. Slightly stretched with, uh, with uh, Smiths only being able to afford a Galil. And now if you look at their money, it is all over the place. But uh, Nip, again, is uh, not quite the train, wreck train wreck it was, but still not in a fantastic situation. We'll have to see what they're able to accomplish here. Fifth Lauren picking up the AWP again, back to his usual position over at Quad, and he will be smoking things off there. And uh, I do like the variation we're seeing from the NIP side. Usually, uh, Fifth Lauren is just on the M4s from that position, but we can see NIP are getting comfortable with these mix-ups, which is, in, which is uh, great to see. LDLC testing them all over the place. Smith's trying to get some action over towards uh, Banana, but Get Right might just get a peek hit. Looks like uh, he's going to smoke off Smith's, as LDLC now have middle. So really nice movement from LDLC. They've done a good job. They have lost only MBK at the moment. They've pushed NIP back, and now it's just B or A. They can make the call. The job is done to obscure information. Is this going to spot a couple players there? It's a lot of threat towards the A bomb site. Oh, nice pick there from Happy, but two frags coming in immediately. Get Right is able to take down one. There's two players on the approach. Get Right going for the money shots there with that M4. It does get the triple. There's a lot of cash in the bank for Get Right now. And we're going to see uh, gonna see NIP at 5-6. to six. They're bringing it back. All thanks to Fifth Lauren. That's a... Lots of money in the bank for their whole team, as four of them did survive that round. So you can see they've got two on six and a half thousand now, and that's really important for NIP going forward. We are in round 12, and we have Fifth Lauren with the AWP, and we have only three AKs on Team LDLC for the time being. So again, we're going to see if this uh, keeps Happy as aggressive as, he, as he's been, looking for these openings in the previous rounds, or if he's going to have to slow down. He is second in the frags for his team at the moment with 12, and we've got uh, fifth round topping the leaderboard for Nip with 10. We're going to all go towards the uh, A bomb site now. Fast aggression, usually down to Forest to defend these, uh, and they do have a nice crossfire with Exist. They can't get all that deep. In comes the USP from Forest, switches out for the AK-47, gets the spray down on two players. Forest, as usual, locking it down with Exist, and that is a sick quad kill. Lovely stuff there on the defense. LDLC, they wanted an explosive round, but it was NIP who had the explosive finish there. Forest hosing them down like they're at the car wash, and they <laughs> are rolling in the cash now. Exist with 350, but uh, the other guys got five to nine thousand. LDLC will have four AKs last time, as opposed to this time, sorry, as opposed to three in the previous round. You've got that flashbang uh, um, in front of the car, which allows people to peek behind it, but it won't matter to Smiths. He's going to take out Fifth Laren anyway. That's going to be the AWP down for the time being. This is the first round in a while we're seeing from LDLC where they get an early round advantage. This hasn't happened in the last four or five rounds. So it's going to be interesting to see how they play with this. They know they've taken down one player. Now, it depends on their read on NIP. Because NIP now have gone the t done the 2-2 two -two split, which is a common reaction. Get right is going to go for the play, though. Flashed over from Freiburg, going for the spray down. Only gets one frag, spots the rush incoming. It is uh, Forrest now rotating, but Freiburg goes down immediately. He had to do something there, and now it's a 2 on 4 situation. Exist is still waiting there towards A because there could be a lurker hiding in boiler, hiding mid. He, you just don't know. NIP in a lot of trouble, though, and Forrest is alone. 
for us has left the building and Exist will be the last man standing versus four. Looking at the money here, I think save is in order. His teammates do have a hell of a lot more money than he does. Um, he may choose to go for the economical damage here, but he's going to just kind of loiter around second midfield time being. So we are looking at 7-6 LDLC as we go into the last two rounds of this first half. And again, seven rounds on the board on T side is great, but we have seen many matches now of Inferno where both T sides put in huge numbers. So this is by no means over. Absolutely not. This is turning into quite a cracking match between NIP and LDLC. Once again, you know, that turning point with the AWP buy and, and, the, and the aggressive positioning from Fiflarin and, uh, you know, get right rocking quad. That was really nice. We're going to see Fiflarin now peeking down middle. There's no AWP for LDLC and they've completely abandoned middle actually. So this is, uh, this is quite interesting. There is definitely something to play, play with here for Fiflarin. He might just find a bit of a peek. There it is, does spot the peek. Now he has to fall back. It's too dangerous if they push him there. It's a long run to that CT arch position, which would be the next safe uh, place to be for Fiflarin positionally. So LDLC are keeping things very calm at the moment. Again, Nip just playing passive. Don't want to get picked off early. Want to uh, use those smokes and counter flashes to waste as much time as possible. And again, just got lots of baiting here and poking um, random rifle firing from LDLC, trying to find someone or get some sound from someone to try and work out where they're located and then exploit their positioning. But nothing happening yet. 40 seconds remain here and no one is only, well, only actually NBK down to 25 HP, so there was some tagging being done. They're going to push both sides at the same time. Smith's going to cause some havoc here and the bomb is going to go back round towards the B-bomb site. So down to get right and Freiburg, the combo on B to get the frags. LDLC moving in though, no entries found just yet. It's Freiburg who takes down one, get right as well. Shock's finally getting a return. LDLC now bringing in the frags. They do get themselves on the bomb site with three players left alive. Forrest and Fifth Lauren rotating. And the problem for them is going to be um, Happy coming in from the back. Certainly to put in a lot of damage if they keep him, if they don't keep him checked. And it's going to be for Fifth Lauren who falls to him. Forrest in a one on three. Goes for the one on one, takes down shocks. But there is the round for LDLC. It's a nice push on B. Yeah, simple trade kill coming in there from the end, uh, from NBK at the end. So teammate goes down, he gets the kill, and that's the end of the round. So quite, quite straightforward play there, but uh, gets the numbers on the board. So LDLC with eight versus NIP's six. And Exist's going to be only on a five seven here. Get right, Fr Forest, Freiburg, no head, no head armor. Double AWP, oh sorry, single AWP, what am I talking about? These are new glasses as well, I should get them double checked. So it's Smith with the AWP here, looking down Banana, NBK with an M4, the rest with AKs. Full nades here for the terrorist side. That flash is coming in, that's going to slow them down a bit. Going to wonder if, if the uh, CTs are pushing, but they're not. They're just going to burn that clock for a little bit longer. Fifth Lounge on the uh, roof again. Hasn't been up there for a while, so we'll be looking for the element of surprise. Got four terrorist Frenchmen heading towards the A-bomb site for the time being. Again, they're going to be looking for an early pick and we'll try to play off that very quickly. They know that Fiflaren plays his position. He's still going to get one frag though. A lot of damage on 10 PK. And it looks like Exist didn't get himself much in the way of damage on the repeats there. And it's going to be Exist and Forrest to get taken down. So two on two now as NIP swing around. LDLC with a really solid bomb plant here. Nice smoke, although it's not going to cover the approach to the pit. And there it is. Oh, and get right. How did he find that head of Happy? But somehow he will, and he goes down. Kyoshi Mena one on two. The smoke still covering him momentarily. Get right in the smoke, though. There's the peak from Fifth Lauren. Uh, Freiburg, rather, as uh, Freiburg goes for the one on one. He's going to take it down. Uh, really nice timing there from get right and Freiburg. And we do get the 8 7 half, and I'm still, still like really, it, it, I'm still really um, impressed by how NIP brought the game back from, from LDLC because it was looking really, really, really bad for quite a while. Like yeah. For seven straight rounds, it's looking really bad. We've seen that in a few games recently, just these massive comebacks to bring it back to an 8 7 score in the first half. 
<coughs> this pistol is going to be critical for NIP on the T side, the less favoured side. Again, it's all about breaking the CT economy for the T's. So we'll see if Nip can do what what uh, LDRC could do in the previous round. I had to restart it because NBK just uh, has disappeared. So hopefully he hasn't been kidnapped, and we will see him back here shortly. And and th this this match is like so important for both teams. If LDLC, this th basically all the following matches played tonight are going to be like the last matches of of the face it league until the for until their the respective teams yeah for, until the the land finals of course so these are all the last matches to help these teams qualify into the top four to get to the land and ldlc if they win this they're guaranteed top four i, I do believe nip they need to win this to have a chance it's not guaranteed for them it, i think it it depends on the following results of the of the next three matches so both teams this is a this is an incredibly <coughs> important match an incredibly important it can't be understated at all so uh, and, and the thing is as well is that it's not just a 50k tournament. It's it's like the tournament like a month before a major, so a, a month before DreamHack. So it's going to be really important for all these teams to get to get to those lands so, so they can really prepare themselves properly because there's nothing like land experience and feeling out the te other teams on land. Yeah, and if you saw if you didn't see the American cast yesterday of I Buy Power versus Denial, definitely worth checking out the VOD. That one was um, went down to the wire as well. It was basically both teams were in a situation where if either team won, they went to land finals, and uh, it didn't it didn't finish in normal time, guys. It went to overtime and then some. So I'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it, but definitely uh, check out the video on Face It VODs on YouTube and watch that. I mean, you might need to set some time aside, but it was a really exciting match, and there was some serious orping going on there. So definitely yeah, look that up. The Skadoodle Shazam dynamic was pretty fun. Uh, to watch definitely it was yeah it was a really awesome match it was a really really cool match um i really enjoyed that thoroughly enjoyed that match um so we are waiting i think it is for mbk to come back he just dropped and this is this couldn't be a closer i mean both teams i think are pretty happy with with the result and i mean it's anybody's game at this point it's just, it's just completely anybody's game what i mean i don't even know what to expect from ldlc on the ct side aggression Aggression. I think all we can expect from LDLC these days is aggression. Everything else is a surprise these days. I'm not sure. I'm, I really don't know. I really don't know what they're going to throw, throw at NIP because it, it depends. Ruthless aggression. They're going to be hitting aggression. people with chairs, throwing them off, <laughs> off balconies, all kinds of madness is going to be going I down. See the, I want to see like heavy challenges on Banana. I want to see like a lot of aggression on Banana. I, I really think they're going to run down that. mid. They're, they're capable of just going down yeah, mid. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I do love also... Uh, there's play sometimes. I think actually, yeah, we've seen from LDLC, they do like to do throw in the mid play sometimes where um, if they have a few rounds together and they know there's no AWP from the other team, they'll take the r they'll just run down mid with the AWPer and he'll just look second mid with the cover from like the other rifler from who does like quad the quad position. That that's really cool. It's yeah. really risky, but it's really cool. And they've done that before quite a few times. So yeah, I want to see that too. Yeah, they want to instill fear, basically. Instill like when fear. people play Virtus Pro on Mirage and they're just sitting like Mid is here, and they're all the way down here near the ladder into BAPS. Just like, okay, these guys are crazy. So I think I think the same thing's happening for LDLC. But uh, yeah, um, NBK uh, NBK has disappeared. I don't know if his internet has if his route has exploded or something. But um, we we're gonna have a, a short break here, and once he is back in the game, then we will resume the proceedings, guys. So stay with us, and we will see you in a few minutes.
Welcome back to Face TV, guys. We should be going back into this intense match, this ever important match for LDLC and NIP. Very shortly on Inferno, we do have the 7 8 scoreline as uh, NIP now move to the T side, and we have LDLC on the CT side. And this match is looking pretty good so far, very even. What are we going to see now on the pistol round? Okay, so we've got, uh, again, the aggression from LDLC. Smithy just going, they're just so aggressive, it's crazy! Can they get the frags? That's a question. It's going to be a 1v1 here. It's going to leave Forrest with 16 HP. Smith escapes with 26. And uh, we've got a decoy up in Banana. NBK with 7 HP. Just this ruthless, ruthless aggression here from LDLC. It's not very good, is it? They're all softened up. They're already almost, like two of them almost dead. And now the, the push is going to come in onto the B site. This is, uh, this looks like it should be, should be NIPs around every time. We'll have to see if MVK can find some crazy shots with this USP. Does get a great headshot there. Couple headshots. Great plays from MBK as Exist will finally take him out. The bomb will go down in front of those coils. But uh, we do have Happy on the angle. Oh, I felt that one. And it's going to be, oh my goodness, another kill found by Happy. And Forrest has no health left. Great shot by Forrest. But wow. MBK and Happy. I like popping, high fiving right now. Popping those heads. They're chest bumping right now. Yeah. NBK chest bumping from the grave. We don't see enough chest bumping in professional matches. That's because you got to get up, up off the chair, take off your headset, all this kind of stuff. Walk around the other other people. Dude, it's, it's you do it in the game. In the game? Are you you want like gestures in the game? You can press a button like to chest bump the other models. You just run and jump at each other. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm trying to make it too complicated, obviously. Clearly, clearly uh, DDK plays fights on his own. <laughs> with no baddies. Okay, next time we play, we've got to do some chest bumping. All right. I'll teach you the ways. All right. The Nova Koi. NIP. Can certainly take this round with some nice entries. They get themselves... Uh, into the line of sight of Kyoshima's Nova only momentarily. Big popper pump is coming out to play. There's the first frag. There's the second one. Oh, the money. Happy, happy he actually should have let... Uh, let uh, He's just bathing in money right now. He's just sitting in a bath uh, full of dollars. I know. Full of Peter 50 Franklins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The money's looking great for LDLC. This is not such a good start, is it, for NIP? Um... We're going to have to see what they're able to do on this round. Obviously, they can destabilize LDLC a little bit, but LDLC is sticking with one of the, the Novas on MBK, and MBK does love to play with the, the shotguns uh, in many of the maps. If he can find a good position for it, he will keep it for a while. And I imagine he is in apartments somewhere, or no, he's actually on Banana, uh, close on the angle. This is also a really good angle for the, for the shotguns. Yeah, if he turns that corner, he might get two for the price of one. Two apples. He's jumping out there, going for the shots. Fryberg, 66 HP. Gotta be careful. Does fall back though, and in, in a position. Once the element of surprise is gone, it's it's over. And they're actually going to boost up uh, somebody up onto the the above quad, the quad roof. And is that was it? Kiyoshima, I think it was. Yeah, he's yes. just facing the wall in case his teammates get flashbanged. He can turn around and mount an offense while they are white. So we do have the. Slow stepping up towards B as Kyoshima will take down Forrest. He's going to run distraction. And there it is. One frag from the shotgun of MBK. And they are just jumping through the smoke, getting gunned down. Get right. Turning around. MBK jumps through the smoke. And Happy gets the frag. Nobody lost for LDLC. And NIP in a lot of trouble now. A lot of trouble. MBK with almost 9,000 in the BANK. And uh, he is going to. Somewhat upgrade to a Galil. But uh, those were some nice meaty rounds for him. And NIP four rounds down now. L LDLC looking strong. Looking like they might make it their sixth win. Oh, here tomorrow. it is. That aggressive play down middle. Exactly what we were looking for. And look at this. Like 20 seconds have passed. And there's like four CTs at CT sl uh, T slope. Get rid like, what? What happened, guys? Someone said there was a rotisserie chicken in T spawn. And it was a race to the finish. But I get right oh, from the I love rotisserie chicken. So good. Shopsy does go down from the headshot with a piece of 50. 
All right, only manages to get one though. So uh, minimal economic damage done to the CTs here. Look at the money. They are rolling in it like a pig in... What pigs are normally rolling? Like mud. Like a pig in mud. Yeah. I just <laughs> That's not what we normally say in England. But uh, we're, we're That's a bit what they more do, crass though. than that. That's what they do. No, but yeah, but we say... We do that too. We say uh, something else. Anyway, we've got three CTs on the B bomb site now. Pos potentially um, expecting a push here, a fast push from the NIP, but it's going to be straight up mid. They're going to get oh. past that smoke, and Fifth Lauren's going to take out Kiyoshima. Sick entry from Fifth Lauren. Shocks now is kind of alone here. He does take the first kill onto Forest, but there is Fifth Lauren and Exist where that came from. Shock C3 HP after that nade landed on his head. Can't believe he's still alive, but they are up on the site. There is actually. Smith just in a flush in the corner of the site as well still. And Smith is going to take two of the frags as well. He's still alive and kicking. 27 health gets the spray down onto Fifth Lauren. There is Get Right left alive. 41 health on him. Takes down MBK. Takes down Smith. I don't believe it. NIP managed to pull out the round at the end. And it was a great defense from LDLC. Good clutch play though. From, uh, from the Swedes. Only one person survives for NIP, and look at the money. They can't even buy AKs for their entire team, but we're going to see an AWP come out for Fifth Laren, so we're going to see what he can do with this. On the other side, we're going to see Shoxi with the AWP, so he's going to be going to be... Fifth is going to be looking in mid. Not going to find anybody just yet. We do have uh, Smith's teasing in the mid area, but uh, not going to make himself known to the AWP. Shoxi is going to find Freiburg. And that's going to slow down the T's on the B banana area. And and this is what we talked about before. You know, the AWP is going to rotate immediately and, and he can get swapped out if if they decide to swap him out. Um, looks like they're not swapping him with anybody on CT Arch. In fact, they're doing the four-man A at the moment. So MBK is alone on the B site. So actually, for K finally we're getting happy. He's actually rotating towards B now in place of Shocks, who was AWPing. And NIP... They are just waiting for something from LDLC, using some of the round time. As, you know, a lot of time has been killed now. They're aware that they've got to try to create some play, get some map control, more map control. And they might just try to challenge CT Arch. This is going to be dangerous. Okay, Shima's throwing the smoke onto the banana area for his teammates so they can nice. save their smokes. But Fifth Laren's going to open up the frags on the A-bomb site by taking out Smith. See if Nip can uh, take the site. Shoxi does go down to get right as well. There's only going to be Kishima on the site now. 9 HP. Does take out get right though. Can he survive? No, he gets taken out by Exist. And Happy goes down as well. MBK now on the rotation against three players. Coming in from Quad. He's got Fifth Lion already on the angle with the AWP. And MBK is just looking for someone to come out. I mean, he knows that. Maybe he could, get, he could get a cheeky frag just by waiting a little bit. It's not going to happen. And Fifth Lion does whiff the shot, but that's okay. He's uh, got two friends to help him. And MBK are going to just turn tail and run. MBK actually did the old fake flashbang, the matchmaking flashbang, where you get your pistol out and throw it and then uh, peek at the same time. Fifth Laren, however, did not fall for it. Went for the shot, didn't manage to connect, and MBK will save this gun unless this bomb goes nuclear and kills everyone. I like how the bomb sets off the bell. Uh, <laughs> it's a shame you can't up. spam the bell anymore. Um, this map, this map's had lots of weird things that have changed. Though you could throw a decoy down the side of a sandbag, and it would make the loudest noise. So you could basically rush anywhere on the map, and nobody could hear you because the, the, the uh, decoy was so loud. But um, the bell, I missed the bells. I was, by the way, again, uh, the entry from Fiflarin there was like really, really critical. That he just immediately got the entry there because, I mean, that's that's a hard shot to make the peak there with the AWP, but he managed to pull that one off. And uh, it's, it looks like a passive round now from LDLC. They are working with. Full grenades, more or less. We'll have to see how they handle this, though. Whether they just remain passive. They've left MBK kind of pushed a little bit onto B. So this is really interesting. They got uh, Happy, who's kind of the floating player towards CT spawn. And he's going to come back to B now that they've MBK's been flashed. Yeah, they're having aggressive positions because they want the info. They, they don't want to be in the unknown, just not knowing what's going on. So they, they'd rather have, have MBK take an aggressive position and know where the T's roughly are or are not, as the case may be, then just be completely in the dark, having no idea where they should put their players. So LDLC far more aggressive than most teams here. And we've got the smokes and the flashes coming out on the A bomb site. It's going to be a full team push here for NIP. 
And they are making their way in. A lot of them through quad shocks in the pit, though. Going to take down Get Right as he jumps down from the balcony. And he's still in a great position. It's kind of smoked off, though. Going to spray through. Does pick up another kill there. But Freiburg with a return. It's a two-man advantage now. Make that a three-man advantage thanks to Kiyoshima for LDLC. And there it is. The finishing blow. And that's going to be 13 to 9. LDLC are looking quite good still. And IP need seven rounds on the T side to win this match. And they are four rounds behind, which means that LDLC, with that uh, win in their bag, are only three rounds away from taking this map and securing their place in the Milan finals. The LAN in Milan. The LAN in Milan. LAN in Milan. We have a three-man push here on Banana from LDLC. We've got uh, Molotovs going down various flashes. Might see some smokes as well. That's going to be half the map secured and they will rotate two of the three players over back to the uh, A bomb site as the banana area is going to be out of action for the foreseeable future as far as Nibba concerned. So this is really nice that uh, they got MEK there and I believe MEK should still have a smoke if they've done this right. Yeah, he does. So he can re-smoke that. And there it is. Oh no, in fact, no, it hasn't been re-smoked by him. It was re-smoked by I believe it was Smith from from CT Arch. So there's still one smoke that can be put down onto Banana. So that's going to basically mean... Okay, they're going to go through, actually. MBK is falling back. Not going to re-smoke Banana. Re-smokes the, uh, the choke point there that we see on that the entry to the side. That gives Nip a, f a few options, but they have lost control of mid. Smith's uh, taking the opportunity to get a, an aggressive position in mid, so the rotate is not going to happen here for NIP. There are two remaining, but they are up against three CTs with full rifles. And, uh, will they even get a kill? No, they weren't, unfortunately. So that was a great um, it was a gr it was a great point that you mentioned that NBK didn't smoke the bottom of Banana because that left him with the um, counter smoke when he was pushed back to the bomb site. And, and uh, with the flashbang coming through the smoke, Nip couldn't do anything. And once they knew that Nip were pushing up Banana, they took control of mid, but had Smithy just standing there like a the Lemon. Lone Ranger, basically, and that just gave them the round, essentially. Yeah, I, I really like that, actually. It's, it's pretty nice. It's the small things, little things. That mm. Lots of little things when you the round. So this is basically the buy round now for MIP, and if they don't win this, it's pretty much game over. And again, this could very well mean that if MIP lose this, they don't go to LAN. So this is the stakes here are real. Very, very real stakes, as we are looking at... Uh, a slow passive start. They do take over apartments, so they've pushed LDLC back. And LDLC reacts by uh, having Happy floating towards the A side. He's, he's very much in a floater role for, for the uh, CT side of LDLC on Inferno. And NIP are just sitting on this still. Just sitting on the control that they have. So this smoke is for Library, I believe. I'm sure one will be going down for Arch as well. So they are going to push through the Archway. But um, jumping out, uh, Forrest gets taken out by Smith, and Smith coming out of the corner will make them not expect Kiyoshima. The frags come in thick and fast. There's only two players remaining for Nip, and they are heavily, heavily tagged. 37 collective health now for NIP. Get right, gonna be the last man standing. Does take down the trade to Shocks. Get right in a one on two. He has to win this to keep NIP's chances to go to Milan alive. 15 seconds left on the clock. Bomb is down. Get right, just. Barely missing the timing. Still playing with that clock. And he's going to just peek him there. And Messiah, happy. He's going to take Get Right down. 15 to 9. Match point now for LDLC. And the money is all gone. The bomb could not have been in a more awkward place for Freiburg in that situation. So that was just really sucks for him, basically. Um, but it is going to be a lot of match points here for LDLC. Nip are going to have to go huge if they are even just to win this round. All they have, apart from um, NIP's, apart from Fiflaren's Galil, is hope at this point. And grenades. Hope uh, and grenades. Hella large amount of grenades. And Fiflaren's the only one who doesn't have a helmet, and he's the one with the rifle, which I don't think makes sense. Let's see how this uh, pans out. Oh, they're going to make a bit of a push towards the B side. They may have to just go for the bit of a set play 
they don't have any Molotovs, which definitely aids in the set plays. MBK is going to step out though, and that's going to give them a two-man advantage now. Losing fifth Lauren, the AK picked up, the Galil picked up onto Forest. NIP going to go in, take no prisoners. They've got to make the entry frags quick here to get this bomb down. There's two players in the site, one at the back, Smith behind coils. They're all going down though. Smith's putting in huge amounts of work, and my goodness, Smith's already with the triple kill. Get right. It's all going to be on him once again, but this time, instead of a one-on-two, he has a one-on-one -on -one against Shox. Still yet to find a weapon, though. But 40 seconds on the clock, a significantly better situation than he found himself in the previous round. The bomb is down there by the grill, and Shox waits patiently, just aim-trained towards the, uh, the fountain area, waiting for Get Right to make a move. He is going to slowly go for it, though. Get Right has no idea at all where Shoxy is. He's going to try and find the location there. Does get oh. in, but Shoxy rips his head off, and that is going to oh be Match goodness. and Milan to LDLC. Very well played by LDLC. NIP couldn't just couldn't really get the tread in the uh, on the second half. They did a really good job. So this also means that Vadis Pro are going to be qualified for the LAN as well. So pretty important result. Let's check the rankings actually, and uh, just see how everything is going now. So there you go, guys. We have Fnatic guaranteed, LDLC now in, and Virtus Pro looking fantastic as well. Of course, Virtus Pro still have a match to play as well. They they can't be knocked out. They're going to be playing against Fnatic uh, on cash. It will be the last no uh, match of tonight, but they can't be knocked out. So uh, NIP in a very precarious position now uh, on that fourth place. Dignitas still with a match to play. A bunch of teams with Titan as well. So uh, interesting stuff here. Very interesting stuff. All right, guys. Uh, I think we are going to have a break now. Um, During this break. Oh yes, yes. Subscriber giveaway. Them nice. We James wants to throw them nice. We at you. are doing an M9 bayonet giveaway. We did give it away before, but the guy didn't claim it, so we're going to give it away again. And uh, we did say if the flip knife blue steel wasn't claimed by the person who won that two days ago, then we would raffle that again afterwards. So we'll get back to you on that a bit later on. Um, but for right now, we are going to do the subscriber giveaway, the M9 Bayonet, during the break. So uh, definitely you'll see the notification on the schedule page. I'll give you the command you need. So, uh, <laughs> sub hype, very nice. I didn't know what was coming, but there we go. So we will see you on the other side of the break. In the meantime, good luck and have fun.